Hi guys and welcome to my 2020 favorites. <laughs> you need okay, so basically we're going to start with my brows because that's the same uh the same. The first thing that I do when I start in my brows today, it's the lip not the lip pencil. The eyebrow pencil that I use is the LA Girl Shade Slim Brow Pencil. I use this, I already used this for like three years and I never switched because it's just a classic, you know, it's just a slim brow pencil and it costs like, I think seven euros on Amazon, Amazon. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of just something that I use this um, darkest brow. So I like this one a lot and I don't stop using it. So if you need an affordable brow pencil, get you this one. <laughs> After brows, I cuff my brows with a different concealer. I have three concealers and I forgot to take one out, but I have three concealers to show y'all. <laughs> so the concealer that I use to carve out my brows and uh, to do my eyebrow slit that I have sometimes and also to prime my lid. <laughs> is the uh, Lancome Teint Idole Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer <laughs> and it looks like this it's this little part and I like that you can like squeeze what you want out of it because it's also good for clients you know because you don't have an applicator um, so yeah this one I like it a lot I have it in the shade sweet it's like um, uh, 435 sweet V I don't know but it's this little tube and my sister gave it to me but, um, yeah I like it a lot actually like it's what I'm wearing right now it has pretty much a good coverage I don't use it under my eyes I never tried I should though but yeah it's pretty good I like it <laughs> um, okay after my ah after like priming and all we're already going to the thing that's the most interesting but um eyeshadow so my i guess the eyeshadows that i use the most this year is the xana's i don't know the name but i think she's an influencer sephora palette it looks like this and a friend of mine gave it to me and i'm really glad she did because it's really good i'm wearing it right now like i'm wearing the shade and the black I like the black a lot that's what's under my eyes right now but yeah I use this shade a lot and these no and this one to prime my lid but yeah I haven't tried like the red one I think I tried it on my mother but I haven't tried like the shimmers and all I don't like these colors because they don't show up on my skin color and pink is not my color <laughs> but this one I used it too so all the dark shadows and neutrals I used and the pigmentation is pretty good solid formulation I for like day-to-day -day basis I like this it's really good as I said and I used it a lot <laughs> a lot so I don't know if this is still available I'm really sorry if it's not uh, the second palette that I used a lot is the Stacey Marie Carnival palette looks like this we all know how it looks and I look I use it a lot for like pops of colors like I use this one for shooting and I why do I always say shooting we're not shooting anyone <laughs> photo shooting so I use this blue a lot it's so pretty and I like the highlight too like this one it's like whoops I'm gonna swatch it on my finger oh, no. I think I did an IG video on this and I swatched all of the shades so if you Oh, you can't see it, but it's a pretty like subtle highlight that looks like um, skin. Then I think uh, something that y'all um, noticed is that I wear eyeliner a lot now. It's something I, that I started like in September, I think. I was like, oh, I'm going to try something new. And now I wear excessive eyeliner all the time. <laughs> it's like when you get into eyeliner, you can't stop. It's a curse, I'm sorry, but if you start, you can't stop. <laughs> so um, the liner that I use is the Essence Liquid Ink Liner in Waterproof. 
yeah so my liner looks like this today it's kind of shitty today but the lashes help <laughs> but yeah i wear eyeliner all the time i get compliments on my liner all the time and i'm definitely going to film a video on how i do uh <laughs> on how i do my liner you know uh i'm sorry i just got a text <laughs> but uh yeah i'm definitely going to do that <laughs> um okay so after my eyes i just jump to complexion uh and as far i don't have like a favorite for my primers because i still haven't found a good primer so if you have recommendations just leave them down below <laughs> but i really don't have a primer that i love you know i haven't found something that controls my oily skin oh yeah i have only oily, oily skin so not everything that i'm recommending in this video is going to work for everyone just so you know complexion so i don't have a favorite primer i use primer but i i'm not a fan so i'm not gonna recommend it uh, to y'all but i uh, before i use my foundation because i have oily skin i use the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch setting powder in nutmeg to set my face before that i use powder underneath my foundation this looks disgusting <laughs> underneath my foundation before applying my phone i just said that <laughs> i just put it before my foundation okay and it adds a little bit more co of coverage so after you don't have to use that much of foundation because it adds coverage um but yeah it helps to control my oiliness this is not a surprise but my favorite foundation is the fenty beauty foundation because it's easy it's, i have this in the shade 420 <laughs> so yeah it's my fenty beauty foundation i'm I'm, I'm at the third bottle of this and i i want to test something else but this this is just so easy i just have to go to sephora and pick up my shade because i already know my shade and if i go to sephora to pick up another foundation i have to rematch you know and that's exhausting <laughs> but yeah this is the foundation that i use all the time so we're jumping to concealer there i have some i have two more so I'm going to start with um the expensive one <laughs> so i like the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer looks like this and we all already know this like everyone that follows beauty stuff on Instagram, YouTube, knows that this is bomb. <laughs> it has, like, I'm wearing it right now. It has extremely high coverage, it's an extremely high coverage concealer because I guess it's because you can use it for a lot of stuff. You can use it as a concealer as, I think some people use it as a foundation, <laughs> even though they came out with a foundation that matches this. Um, and they use it to sculpt, like it says on the bottle, you know. But I use it as a concealer because I got the shade that matches me. Oh, the shade is uh, butterscotch, by the way. Applicator looks like this, if you don't know. I don't know, but it looks like this. It's like a big one. And you get a lot. I think this costs 30 euros. It's kind of on the expensive side, but you really don't need that much. Like, I just put a point here, a point there, a point here, and down my nose, and then I'm done. It's like one dip into this. <laughs> and I don't use it all the time. Also, I use it a lot, but I just use it when I want to be bougie. When I'm going to work, because I know it stays on, you know. So you get... I'm trying to find... Oh. Uh, 15 mill milliliters and let's see in this one we have 12 so it's a lot this one has 12 i don't know how much the other ones have but i am going to show you two more <laughs> i use the camouflage concealer in matte from essence this this is the best concealer you can ever find because this is this has coverage first of all it blends like a dream <laughs> like i'm not exaggerating this blends like a dream and it costs three three euros three this masterpiece and you get it in hydrating and in matte like what more do you need 
like if you know if you want to buy anything in this video this okay buy this i have two shades this is the shade that i use on me and this is the shade that i use on um to mix stuff you know when i um doing somebody else makeup somebody else's makeup i use this one you know to mix but you know yeah i have my shade is <laughs> uh dark caramel i know they have they lag on shades like they they approved their shade range but i know there's some more after this and some more after this too like before this too so yeah those are just the two shades that i have but i like this a lot it's like i'm not exaggerating <laughs> if you want something out of this video go to your dm store and buy this and try it and tell me if you like it or not because i recommend this to everyone i'm like they are like which concealer do you use i'm like essence <laughs> use essence because three euros like who's going to compete with that <laughs> Okay, um, the second one that I that I use, but I don't use them on myself because I don't have my shade. <laughs> I don't like the last time that I ordered this, I ordered the wrong shade, and I didn't place another order. So this one, this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I think every like dark black person, I guess, uh, knows these concealers because they have a huge shade range and it costs i think five five to seven euros on amazon beauty ray whatever you want <laughs> and it's really like a staple it's classic and it works you know i have the shade fawn fawn and this and this is for like dark people i would say but this highlights nothing on me it highlights nothing so <laughs> yeah but this one is also a good one i just don't like the applicator because it's this thingy, I don't like that, but it works. I like it. Um, after concealer, I usually do contouring. I don't have a favorite because I don't. Um, this year I didn't contour that much. Contour slash bronze because it's with the mask. It just makes no sense. You know, with the mask, everything that's here is just covered. So. I just don't do it um after that i set and to this year i used to set my under eye dp as my perfect color loose mineral powder this one it matches perfectly to my concealer and that's why i like it and it leaves like a natural finish under my eye it's not like cakey like i have life you know i'm not it's not creasing as much as kind of with my under eyes it's it just creases every time because I have wrinkles underneath it but I'm not looking old because it's drying my skin out you know <laughs> so I like this a lot it costs as you can see 250 250 <laughs> you know you can't ask for anything more and yeah I have the shade toffee so if you want to buy this I, I like it I like it a lot and it has a lot of product <laughs> why do I keep like uh talking shitty english as if my english is not already shitty <laughs> then to set my face i use this one again i apply it with like a powder puff to really get it into my skin so yeah this one is what i use to set my face after setting i just do highlight highlight i don't i was kind of struggling to find my favorite highlighter because i just choose whatever <laughs> whatever i'm like feeling like when i um do my makeup i just choose i'm like oh like this pink one could be cute this gold one could be cute i i don't have a favorite but i chose some that i um chose the most i guess this year <laughs> last year <laughs> we're already turning to any point oh my god so my favorite highlighters are the juvia's place uh royal 2 the royal 2 loose highlighter looks like this it has a lot but it's also what i'm wearing today if you can see you know i like this because if i want something extreme i use this if i'm like i want to gloat to the moon 
exists. And something that I um, bought this year too. I don't know if this is still available. I don't think so. I'm really sorry, but I used it. It's a limited edition and I love the packaging. Love it. That's why I bought it. So I have two shades of these, but the shade that I use the most is this one. This is D. Uh, the shade extra postmodernist peach it's just like a light um golden shade and these have a finish this is also like an adult highlight this is when i'm not in the mood to have like bam highlight this is when i want something subtle elegant then i use this you know uh blush so blush the kiko palette this is not mine this of my sisters but i pretty much use it all the time <laughs> so this is this mod essential face um palette i think in deep you get a lot in this you get an, uh, a highlight two 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 like a bronzer and a contour i guess and three blushes i just use this and this i use it on clients but i just use these i often just mix them or today I used this and this one, but I got into blush in quarantine uh, and now I can't stop. And uh, yeah, so these are my favorites. And my favorite shade of uh, blush is peach. And that's why I bought this. This is the Mrs. Bella BH Cosmetics um, Peachy Blush Palette. And it just has three shades of peach blush, peaches, peachy blushes. Because I, I love peachy blushes. <laughs> And I need three shades. This one, this one, I can't even use it because it's too too light. But <laughs> okay, so the lashes that I use all the time, I already need new ones because these are overused. But my favorite style is icy. Till now, I haven't used the other one yet, but this one is my go-to. I wear it all the time. If you see me with lashes, it's this one. Um, okay, after lashes, I don't have much. I have mascara. What the? My, my favorite mascara is was 2019 and is 2020. Was to 2020. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, it's the Lash Princess mascara from Essence. The this bomb. Love it. Try it. This is also something that I recommend to everyone. The concealer, this, and the liner. Something that I recommend to everyone. <laughs> we're coming to lip combos, lip stuff. And then we're, we're done, I think. I didn't forget anything. I'm not including like my brushes because I have so many. Perhaps two, but not much. <laughs> so the two things that I a lot is clear gloss oh this is something else from essence that i recommend to, to everybody it's just a clear gloss clear gloss because it's not expensive and does hit job and huda beauty uh, liquid lipsticks that's also what i'm wearing right now because i'm obsessed with dark lips i'm still searching for black li uh, like liquid lip and i haven't found one but this one is the one that i um wear a lot and this is in the shade wixen okay people my my phone keeps cutting me off so we're just gonna end this um that was like those were my 2020 favorites i hope y'all found something that interests you um so yeah uh just you know subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel leave a like and com comment something uh, fun, I guess. I, I'm not going to leave an em e emoji because um, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> but just comment something, you know? I don't care what. <laughs> I kind of care, but you know. <laughs> um, and follow me on my social media accounts that are listed up here. And click on the bell too uh, while you're at it. So yeah, that that was the video. I hope you all liked it. And yeah, so peace out.